Could you ever think that you would be able to give a five-week-old her entire life back when it was limited to days? I love talking about Matilda because it shows what's possible, and that's what transplant's about for me. It's about hope. Matilda was born and she seemed healthy. They sent us home from the hospital, but it was just a couple days after I took her home and she started to seem very lethargic. Things didn't feel right. This is a very rare disorder and most children who get the severe form like she had die within weeks or months of being born. The idea that we could consider liver transplantation in someone who's only three kilograms and then find a donor. For me personally, on this case, the emotions were high. There was trepidation, honestly. I don't say that lightly. I did not want to give them false hope, but without a liver transplant, there was simply no hope at all. You're talking about a liver that we got from a two-week-old, that liver literally fit in the palm of my hand. A tug the wrong way, a cut, a cautery injury could be a disaster for the entire transplant. We were able to take that child's organs and bring it back for Matilda and do what would easily be one of the most complex transplants I've ever done. I remember vividly um, being with the family and uh, they were saying goodbye. Not goodbye, we'll see when the operation's over. Goodbye, probably goodbye, goodbye. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, well, let's see if we can change that. We have to make some major connections to the big vein that takes the blood back to the heart. We have to connect the artery to her aorta, the largest artery in her body. We have to connect the bile duct to her intestines all with microscopes, with sutures as fine as your hair, sewing together blood vessels that are just a few millimeters in diameter, just a couple stitches in each. There's so much risk for bleeding or clotting and failure. I just kept looking at her and thinking, my baby just had a transplant, like, that's wild. And she's gonna survive. Matilda is five and a half, so she's about five and a half years post-transplant, and the prognosis looks good. She is in kindergarten, and she fits right along with her classmates. There are not many places that would even dream of taking on a liver transplant in somebody this size. This is not something that's possible in most major academic hospitals. You really have to have the experience, the team, the conviction to do a, a case like this. It's really interesting. When we think about our journey at Mount Sinai, it's a really beautiful one. And that's hard to explain to people because we didn't have family here. We didn't have a home here. And so we really relied on the nurses and the doctors to give us that moral support along with the medical support. And they really did, they really came through. Mount Sinai will be a part of Matilda's story. We'll be a part of our story forever.